Fit MC. In 2016, after the destruction of Aureus City during the Russia War, Kane's Law, the founder of the city, ventured off on his own once more and founded a base that, until last week, had been the most well-kept secret on 2B2T. I had received several invitations to this base, but I declined all of them because I didn't want to put the base at risk by me being there. But now that the base has been griefed, it's finally time to show the public the true hidden gem of 2B2T. More than 15 players banding together to form the Bodecan, a city to surpass Aureus. What's going on everyone? This is FitMC and today we are touring the Bodecan, Kane's Law's secret society that he built in 2016. Now this base at its peak, before it was griefed, had 15 members and they followed the golden rule of not posting any pictures in public of this base, not talking about it, and they kept it secret for a long time long time. Now unfortunately it has been griefed because it's so close to an axis but it was bound to happen but let me tell you from what I've seen so far this base you are not going to believe it. So because this base was founded in 2016 it's over a year and a half old which means there was a lot of time to build and build they certainly did. Now this is the entrance area it actually looks kind of similar to Aureus's landscape on the surface here, but once we get down, there's going to be a lot of drastic changes. So let's go ahead and head down. There is just so much stuff tightly compacted here that I'm actually lagging slightly with my frame rate in game. That's how crazy this base already is. But here's the entrance to the Bodecan by Kane's Law. So, ooh, you definitely want to turn off your crystal aura if you want to tour this place. Let's go, go, go. Now, I am in creative mode because this is a world download that Kane's Law gave me, but still, it should not hinder your enjoyment of this base. Now, first off, in the entrance here, they had bedrock with glass covering it. They were not afraid to show their bedrock down here, but you gotta remember, they were never showing pictures of it. So it didn't matter if they had bedrock that was visible as you were touring the base. Now, of course, Kane's Law put up these Aureus banners. He said this is one of the first things he put up, so it's always good to see the old uh, Aureus banner I designed back in the day. This was a storage area. All the items in the frames are gone now just because they were lost with the world download. But still, overall, very cool storage area as you can see. But let's head to the actual meat of the base. Now this is the lobby. Look at this. This is the lobby blows my mind. Look how much effort has been put into this. Let me free cam around real quick. You can see that the veins or like the uh, roots of the tree are made out of sea lanterns going away from the central tree area. The dome here uses a design similar to Aureus with the gold sort of perimeter and then also the white stained glass as well. And then down here it's like which section do we explore first? And like I said, remember this is the lobby. The lobby. So let's get close to the main tree here. There's some pet parrots around. Very cool, very cool. 
take a look in here. We have the member list. So now you'll get to see who was all here. Kane's Law, Big Don, Bammer Beast, Killy Capybara, who, oh my goodness, Killer is an old, old, old player. Wow. It's crazy to see Killer Capybara up there. Varga Girl, Alpha Computer, leaving his trademark sign. Hayer, another one of my old Orioles base mates, same with XCC2, and Yellowstone Joe. Legato was here, Parthakis, Takrev, Negative Entropy, Jack the Ripper, and Beardler. Wow, so that is, man, talk about a list of legends right there. That is insane. I have a history with a lot of these players, and they're all really good, good guys, let me tell you. All right, so we got the member list out of the way. Which section do we explore first? Let's go over here. Wow, look at this. Now, I'm going to be looking for signs and stuff. And what I love about this base is that all doors are automated, so you get to just go right through. Looks like this here was... Uh, oh, hold on. My chunks are not loading. Let's see if we can refresh those. There we go. So we've got some livestock here. Apparently, there used to be a pig spawner here, but, of course, Housemaster nuked all of them on the server. So they're not there anymore. We've got horses, mules, and donkeys down here. Got the cows, got the cattle. Here we've got the wool farm. All the different colors of sheep. Very cool. So let's see if I can kind of sneak by here in fly mode. There we go. Now look at this. Look up. Do you see that? That's ocean above us. Kane's Law, it took him about a month to dig all of this out. But just look at this. He intended to have a walkway up here. Which is why you've got this random stone section not really built yet. He was going to have a walkway and it was going to go all the way around. But just look at this. You know, it's always a shame when bases are never uh, fully realized. But the amount of stuff that's in this base, it's alright if they didn't finish. There's still so much stuff. I hope I can fit this all in one video. So we're going to head back this way. Past the livestock. Let me just double check down here to make sure we did not miss anything. All right, Super Duper Rail Duper, yep. So here's the duping stations they had for rails with the hoppers all leading to the double chests. They also had carpet dupers as well. So this was entirely mechanized here, automated. It's always really cool to see. Let's see down here, we've also got some other automated systems. The fish farm here with, of course, exposed sky, so that way you're getting the maximum catch rate. Got the coarse fruit farm with the uh, cross designs here, and then the fully fledged coarse farm. This just looks crazy. I want to make sure my Fulbright is disabled because that's really going to give you the best idea of just how cool this all looks. Man, it just looks incredible in here. This is the best looking coarse farm I've ever seen. Like almost like the icicles coming down from the ceiling. Oh, very cool. Let's just double check with free cam. Excellent. So let's head this way. Now I believe we need to go this way. Yep, there's some other stuff here. Other automated systems. Joe's pig grinder. Oh yeah, this is similar to the design he had at Rocket Town. Very cool to see. Alright. We've seen all the automated stuff. Let's head back, because there's still so much to see in so little time to actually show it to you. Let's actually wait. Let's double check this way. This base is so huge, eventually it's going to be on the museum server for you to see. Look at that. Looks like the third incursion banner. All these lava falls here. Let's sneak through here. Where do we go? This is just a maze. Whoa. Well, this must be Bammer Beast's storage right here. Look at all this. Wow. Well, he never ran out of stuff, that's for sure. All right, we got some other bedrock formations here. Looks like this part was incomplete. But, geez, I just, I, let me free cam to make sure I'm not missing anything, because there's just so much stuff to see. Ooh, we have Bammer's library here, it looks like. Oh, wow. And I love that the floor, all the books just come to take a look at you. Look at that. It's a little trippy, isn't it? Got 
got some bats flying around too. The fact that you got bats to spawn on 2v2t, that itself is impressive. Holy cow. Man, it's crazy. I love this library. That's the hallway from earlier. It looks like there was going to be something that way, but we just ran out of time. So let's head back. Let me just make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, here's some beetroot farms. Alright, it looks like that's back the way we came. Alright. Oh yeah, good. So we're going to head uh, this way. This brings us back out to the foyer that we started in. Oh wait, hold on. we got a little meeting room here. There's just so much to see. I like the adding of the diamond ore there. That is very cool. Head out this way. Okay, we need to, we need to double back this way just a little bit though. I love the fact that the entirety of the base is pretty much underground. That is just a really cool concept. All right, here we go. Look up. Do you see the sky? That is all light blue shulkers. All of it. Look at that. So if you uh, don't have a very powerful machine, this is probably going to lag you out quite a bit if you do the tour yourself. But all these homes were kind of built by different players. Some were built by Canes, others Legato, I believe. But geez, let's see, is this... Oh, yeah, look... I just... It just boggles my mind, you know, and it just... It's weird to think that had I not become a YouTuber for 2B2T, I could have been at this base. But can't dwell on the hypotheticals. We just got to admire it for its beauty and those that built it. 100%. Let's take a look through here if we can. Got a nice modern sort of look to this house. Let's take a look around over here. Yep, we got a vine farm going here from the logs from the ceiling. Look at that. And of course, this is automated as well, it appears. Man, it's just so cool. And it's like, I don't even know where to go next. There's just so much to see at this base. Let's try going this way. Oh, I, I thought I was floating for a second, but no, it's just white stained glass. All right, through here. Hold on. Okay, I will say this. If you do the tour yourself, walk through every painting you can. There's tons of secret entrances here. Let's try going through the dark room here. A little spooky. Ah. And remember, this was all built in an anarchy setting, which makes it all the more impressive. Now, this used to be the map art room. Maps, of course, are being reset on a regular basis these days, it seems. So, when this base was on 2B2T, this is where all the map art was stored. Very cool. All right, but let's head back this way. All right, I think, let's see. I'm just going to start going into fly mode because we're never going to get through this whole tour if I'm on foot normally. So here's the rest of the village. As you can see, all built underground with the shulker sky sort of faking everyone out. It's just so cool. And this helix is similar to the one that was at Aureus in the town center. So... I like that Kane's Law brought back this exact same design. You're going to see a lot of similarities to Aureus at this base, and a lot of those are Kane's Law's touches. Got a cool little bridge going over the entranceway here, leading into this trippy room. And this also is a lookout towards the lobby. All right, so now... Let's head over into this direction. So we already went through there, which is Bammer's section. Let's just fly through here. Oh, man. Look at this giant place. If Rusher ever comes back to 2 b 2 teen, he's looking to fight. This is where I want to have that fight. Look at this church. Absolutely stunning. And it's all under the ocean. Look at this. Just imagine if you're boating along and you see this underwater. It's going to blow your mind. That would be insane. 
Man, but let's keep going. There's still so much for us to see. Man, I just... This is easily, already, hands down, best base reveal of 2018. This is the best base I have seen so far this year. And it's already one of the best bases I have ever seen on 2B2T. Just for the sheer amount of detail put into this whole thing. Hold on, so we're going this way now. Oh man, it's like, which entrance do we go in? We've got like this anchor here. Go through this little lava hallway here. Bunch of signs. Building rules. No way, wait a minute. I think this is the actual village. Oh yeah, look at this. The village of Bodekin. Oh my god. Look at this place. Like, where do we even begin? Upon examining the sky a little bit, I've noticed there's hidden patterns and messages in the starry night sky in this hub. There's a creeper face there. Um, I believe there's some names written out here as well. So if you tour this place yourself, you're going to have to see all the hidden messages here. But wow, where do we even begin with this base? I mean, just look at each individual house. This was Kane's Law's house, I believe, and this was going to be his little grotto for 1.13. He already had the magma blocks in place for the bubbles, almost like his little hot springs. Oh, that would have looked so cool if only this base could have survived a little longer. But looking around, this appears to be the rest of Kane's Law's house with his master bedroom here. He always did like sandstone, but I like the, the sandstone and dark nether brick sort of combo there. Um, we've got, let's see, entropies, uh, negative entropies, little hobbit house here, this all natural house. Look at that, and just the amount of detail put in. See, this is why a base like this blows other bases out of the water because of all the detail. It's not just empty buildings that are massive, that have nothing going on inside them. Every little nook and cranny of this base has detail just jam-packed in. Let's see, so who else's house do we have here? Here's Varga Girl's house. Ah, oh, that's a really cool use of like, are those, wait, are those bone blocks? Looks like it. Like the little brewing section in here in the little library. Wow. And that is a sick bed. That's the coolest bed I've ever seen on 2B2T. Got the little shulker room in here. Let's move on. Who's. Let's see. Open plot for a large build, lots of caves. Okay, okay. Whose house was this now? This was. Okay, Killer Capybara's house. Got the shulkers in place there. Nice little triangle house. Keep it simple, you know. I love it. Ooh, look at this. We got all the uh, the chess boards here. Look at that. Got creepers versus skeletons. Got plants versus flowers. Man, it just... Oh, it's so cool. It's just so cool. It just, ah, uh, it's just so terrific, this whole build. All right, so whose build was this going to be? Oh, Alpha Computer, okay, this was his house, or what was going to be his house, but looks like he was unable to complete it. Got a little forum here, Humble Bundle. <laughs> There's a lot of signs at this base, so when you all check it out for yourself, make sure to read them. There's tons of poems by Legato and stuff. Definitely check it out. I have to keep loading my chunks because there's just so much stuff to see here. The Boathouse Inn and Boatsmith. Vacant rooms available, just claim one. I really like the Japanese design, this like pagoda looking thing. This is sick. Look at all this. Aye, aye, aye. And it just, like I said, I can't stress enough just how massive all this stuff is. There's just if I go into free camp and you look through the chunks, 
there is just so much to see that we haven't even touched on yet. So I hate to say it, but this is going to have to be a two-part base tour. I've already shown off so much, but there's still so much to see. Wait. I think, let me see. I think there was one last section of the village that I was unable to show off, I believe. Let's see. We came in through there. I believe it's this way. Yup. One last gigantic hallway of lava. Look at this. What, what even is this? Looks like more storage. An ominous little cavern here. Well, I wouldn't call it little. It's actually quite big. But uh, I hate to say it, but Bodekin is not the only base to have fallen in the past few days. A lot of high profile bases are all being griefed. There's been at least 10 griefed in the past week. Something's going on, and I'm going to elaborate a little bit more in the next video, so make sure that you watch the second part of this base tour. So, on that note, hope to see you again probably the day after tomorrow for part two of this base tour. But Bo Deccan is already easily, hands down, best base of 2018 that I've revealed so far, and that I've even seen easily best base. So take it easy everyone, and we'll see you for round two. You haven't even seen the best part yet.